Hello there, ICS4C folks. Um, this is a note that's actually 2.7. You can switch that. Um, and this hopefully is going to be a short video talking about the Canvas class and Canvas objects and context objects. You've done some reading on the uh, CEMC website already. And I thought it was a good idea for you to have something in your notes that you can refer to. And I'm going to point out to, uh, a few things, I hope, quickly. Um, so you can add to this note if you like, or just read along um, as as I do. I'll be referring to some code maybe um, during the video. So one thing, when we get to the Canvas class, not like uh, we've been talking about recently that that there's some HTML changes. So remember, always there's a there's a connection between JavaScript and HTML that we've haven't been talking about too much lately in our study of objects because we haven't really cared. But this is all on web pages. Remember, so um, in the HTML we create a canvas um, class with this sort of thing with an ID of whatever we call it in here, and then that's what we refer to in our JavaScript. And we'll see that um, the my can is the is a canvas that we create. Notice that the width and height of our canvas, which our canvas is our drawing area on our web page, is set in the HTML as well. So just scrolling down here, um, on our web page, then we'll have a space. And when we refer to coordinates on this, the top left hand corner is zero zero. And then along here is the first coordinate, the x coordinate, and in this case it goes up to the width, which whatever the width is, 500 in this case, and down to 300, um, in this case the height. And that makes some sense, I think. Um, and notice that if we wanted to, we could style a canvas with borders and padding and all sorts of things that we uh, styled other HTML stuff. Okay, once we have created the space on our HTML page, we must create the necessary objects to actually draw stuff. So here's the two lines that are going to look something like this in your JavaScript. And notice the get element by ID, the my can, is what we had in our HTML, right? That was the ID we set up in our HTML. So get element by ID, it's a canvas that hooks it up to JavaScript, and it's actually the context, and the context is another variable as well. We can call it wh whatever we would like, but that's what we'll actually be drawing on. Um, my canvas is an object, con uh, context is an object, and we're going to be adjusting the attributes and using the methods or functions of the context text object. So context is a context object that gives our web page information about how we would like to use the space on our web, web page. So this get context 2D means that we'll be doing 2D drawing instead of other types of drawing. Um, we do our actual drawing on the context object, not the canvas object. So as it says here, there are tons and tons of attributes and methods. Attributes are things that we set. Methods are things that we use to draw. Um, and we set and we have, uh, once we have made a context object. And you saw some on the CEMC site, and there's a bunch more. Just click on that, and that'll take you to this web page uh, that tells you all, a whole bunch, and I'll show you some other, other resources soon. Um, some tips remember to use the command stroke after you have given uh, the context some commands. Nothing will be drawn until you use stroke. Um, so nothing left on the here. Here's my example. So, and I've given you this code. You can download this code and play with it. So there's the two lines that 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 connects to the HTML. This gives us a context we can draw on. And notice that all of the context stuff is actually where the drawing happens. Notice stroke style is an attribute. Line width is an attribute because we're setting those values. Move to, line to, stroke. All of those are methods or functions of the context object and I can tell that because of the the brackets right now what those values are inside you'll get used to as you play with it I want to notice the ones that have colors we see the different ways to 
assign colors with the hashtag and the um, six hex digits or the word gray or even later on I also use the RGB method and you can use the color pickers anywhere on the on the internet to get the colors that you like um, what else did I want to say I think I've got oh so so this does this and you can check it out later you can play with it I don't want to go through some some specific notes so a lot of commands like move to and line to have X and Y coordinates so these parameters to this function or this method are the X and Y coordinates so this one just moves to that spot on your canvas where line two will actually draw from wherever the the um, pen was before and I'll draw a line to that spot uh, zero zero is the upper right hand corner um, move to doesn't draw a line line two does draw a line makes sense um, here's the code that that draws a rectangle where as it says in your note um, the first two coordinates are the top left hand corner and then this is the 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 width and this is the height of the of the uh, rectangle so on the picture this was a hundred and then this was a hundred that spot the upper left hand corner was whatever that was um, 300 over and 50 down 300 over and then 50 down 100 wide and 100 long um, and that drew a rectangle um, as it says here to change colors or line styles you must begin a new path so the begin path makes it so that you can have a different line color or dashed line or whatever you would like the last note that I really want to make is that circles are very very strange so circles are made with uh, the dot arc and they have five parameters the five parameters the first two are the center of the circle and the third one is the radius of the circle so in this case this right here would be the radius of the circle um, s and e are start and end angles so straight across to the right of the center is is zero and then we could have if you wanted to draw just a quarter circle it would be quarter circle down would be 0.5 times pi um, a half a circle is one times pi probably if you want to draw a whole circle which is what usually we want to do you start at zero and you go to two times math dot pi then that'll give you the whole circle okay uh, is there any other points I want to make I don't think so I think that's it no but um, in your exercise this is a no I've got notepad plus plus remember that you have your JavaScript make sure you put a header in and in your HTML this is a really simple web page the ID connects the JavaScript the ID in the in the HTML connects the JavaScript right there ID get element by ID is my can and that connects it um, and notice that we also have the script line that connects it so you need that in your HTML and I've included this so you can use this as your starting spot and now I want you to create something a logo something a happy face or a flag or whatever you like using the canvas object and methods and attributes um, the last sort of resource I wanted to mention I hope I'm logged on here um, yes I yes I am in content we're back on the web page um, in content under unit 2 there is and I probably put this on the calendar a neat cheat sheet this cheat sheet has got all of the attributes and methods for the the canvas context and so this might be a nice thing to sort of play around with as well as you're goofing around with your canvas okay I have said enough I've taken up enough of your time now go draw